Hello everybody out there, all you wonderful people out there. This is Spirited Senior coming to you again with some more news. House Judiciary Committee forging ahead on impeachment despite most Americans oppose it. Nadler, what a tiny little person in a lot of ways. The House Judiciary Committee plans to vote on a resolution as early as Wednesday to formalize procedures for its so-called impeachment inquiry in hopes of moving it along faster this fall, according to reports. You know, let them, let them do it. Let them do it, I say. This is despite the full House never taking a vote on impeachment and only a third of the House backing impeachment or an impeachment inquiry, as well as a recent poll showing that impeachment is opposed by most Americans. Senator Doug Collins, the ranking Republican on the committee, said in a tweet Monday that Judiciary Democrats are trying to pull a fast one on Americans. This isn't really an impeachment inquiry or anything. It's nothing really. They know they don't have the votes for the whole House to impeach, so they're trying to adopt committee rules to govern an impeachment investigation the House hasn't even authorized, he said. Isn't this ridiculous? It's Nadler. You know, committee chairman Jerry Nadler, who faces primary challenges from his left, have in, has insisted that the committee's investigation into whether President Trump has obstructed justice should be impeached is formal impeachment proceedings. Historically, an impeachment inquiry begins after a full vote in the House. The issue is then referred to the House Judiciary Committee, which would draft articles of impeachment for another vote by the House. Without a majority support in the House, Nadler is effectively skipping the first step to begin an impeachment inquiry. Committee leaders hope the move will send a signal to Congress and the White House that their investigation is not only proceeding, but intensified. Even as the broader Democratic Party caucus remains divided over the merits of ultimately voting to impeach President Trump. He writes here, Mr. Trump. It's President Trump, people. The committee has a draft resolution that will formalize procedures for so-called impeachment proceeding, which Democrats believe will speed up the committee's work. Well, the resolution, according to a copy obtained and published by Politico, would allow Nadler to designate subcommittees to conduct hearings to allow the investigation to move faster allow staff in addition to lawmakers to question witnesses to allow more questioning, set standards for information collected by the committee, and give Trump and his lawyers due process and allow them to offer input on the findings. Really, is this, you know, this is ridiculous. What they're doing is they're going to try to change our rules. And it's really sad because what they're trying to make it look more like, they're trying to make it look more like an impeachment. They want to make it look like they're doing something that they promised their base because they've been out promising they would get this president, Colin said on Fox News on Monday. They want people to believe something that is not true. They want to con continue to put a false narrative out there, he added. And really, my concern is when does it cross the line of being a House Judiciary Committee? And when do they become just being part of the DNC campaign operation next year? Well, we already know what they are. Currently, more than 130 Democrats, one independent support impeachment. 
and and impeachment inquiry. Isn't that something? Democrats need 218 in the House to reach a majority and formally impeach the president. During the House's summer recess, more than 30 lawmakers came out in support of impeachment, which, with a steady number of Democrats coming out every week. However, it has been more than a week since anyone has come out in support with the House back in session and looking at a busy fall. The last polling on impeachment by Mountmouth University Polling Institute shows that 59% of Americans oppose impeachment. Of course we do. And it's probably more than 59. They're giving you a bunch of crap there. The Judiciary Committee also plans to look into payments by former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen to women who claim they had affairs with Trump more than a decade ago. Do you really think that's going to make a difference now? We voted him in regardless. We don't care about that. As long as he governs correctly. That's all we care about. Okay? I mean, the man's not fail-proof. I wouldn't like it if he went out and murdered somebody. I'd se definitely step in there. But geez, what he does in his private life and how many people screw around on their husbands and wives. Give me a break. Give me a break. That's why I'm single. Thank you for listening, everybody. A little bit of good news is that hopefully, you know, Trump will get in, but we got to get out to vote and make sure. Thank you.